Uh, obviously a tough game in uh, Orlando, a lot of missing pieces. You being a player that can play so many positions, uh, it, does that make things a little more complicated because you maybe are maybe slotted somewhere else that you're playing now? Or? Yeah, I mean, I haven't played center mid in, in about, I don't know, two, three months. So it's definitely uh, different. You know, I, I have to get back into the swing of things and, and, and get back into, uh, uh, you know, getting pressure from all different angles uh, instead of, you know, on the right, it's it's really the left back and, and the left mid. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's obviously different, but, um, you know, I, I don't know where what to expect, um, uh, whether I play in the middle, whether I play at right, whether I play as number 10. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, the lineup that, that we choose, but Regardless, I think our, our team is capable of, of going down to Orlando and, and, uh, and winning. So it's, it's a, a big game for us, um, especially with short numbers. Um, but I think we're capable of, of going over there and getting a W. It's been well known that uh, Orlando's given up a ton of goals this season. You guys have had two games back to back here where you've scored four. What do you got to keep doing offensively to keep this run going and score four more? Well, offensively, I think we still need to take uh, chances on the road. Uh, take more chances on the road. Sometimes on the road, it, it seems that we only have two guys in the box, uh, and at home we almost have four, four, uh, five guys at times. So um, at at times, I feel like we we still need to take more chances, um, but still be solid defensively. Um, but you know, at the same time, uh, Orlando is a team that can score goals, so we have to be prepared uh, for that. Uh, if if we can allow them to to um, not score. Many goals, you know. I think we have a better chance of, of winning a game versus, you know, scoring four, four to three game. You know, having a four to three game, um, we'd rather have a one zero game. How did tactics change with Nico Ladero not being there at, at the ten for you? Well, Nico's so active. You know, he runs so much for us. He he plays both sides of the ball. Um, but I think, you know, what we'll miss is is his creativity, his, his willingness to to you know find a penetrating ball. Uh, you know, Nico is the way he is because he, he takes chances, but also his passing accuracy is, is pretty fantastic. So uh, we'll miss that. We'll, uh, we'll miss how active he is, but you know, I, I think Victor will have to uh, play in that, that role. You know, I think he'll have to take those chances and, and you know, be the man um, you know, during this game. I'm sorry if you already answered this earlier this week. We know that he got the knock when you guys knocked knees after <laughs> your goal celebration. How's your knees? <laughs> Did that get away unscathed? Yeah, I, did, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even notice that I hit him, to be honest. You know, uh, I think whenever you crash knees, if you're the guy that's underneath, um, usually you, you, you don't get the, the worst of it. So, uh, unfortunately, I hit him pretty bad. I, I, I felt really bad, and I, I'm actually going to send him a message after this to see how he's doing. But like you're going to buy him dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I owed him so much for that goal. Um, and then, unfortunately, I, I gave him that, that shot to the knee. So... Uh, hopefully he's recovering well. Uh, Orlando was a team that had pretty high expectations and uh, pretty went south pretty quickly. Uh, how do you guys prepare for a team that's been out of it uh, for a while? Well, anytime you play those teams, it's it's a it's a it's a dangerous game because um, you know if you go on top of them early, they can say, oh well, they have a built-in excuse. They can say, well, this this season's not going our way. You know, we have to focus into next next year. But at the same time, if they go ahead, you know, all of a sudden they get that they gather some confidence. Um, you know, it could go south for you, especially on the road. So when you're when you're playing a team that's kind of inconsistent, they're 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 almost uh, much more dangerous than a team that's that's very consistent and steady. It's been a while since you played in Orlando. Uh, oh. Is there anything specific about the stadium or the location? Anything that's tough about that particular venue? Well, obviously the weather. Um, you know, I haven't played in this stadium specifically. We played in that turf field uh, last time we played there. Um, but I remember, you know, how, how humid it was. You know, I, I don't think Seattle in general uh, is, is used to the humidity. So uh, that's number one. Uh, number two, all the travel, you know, having, having to travel all the way down to Florida uh, could be tough. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, we've, we've had a few more days to, to prepare for this game as um, you know, we, we, we had the weekend off and, and they certainly don't.